This is Christmas at Brad's in 1980. Grandpa and Grandma come arrive carrying a few presents. Brad's helping with getting the dinner ready, and there's Karen doing a little sampling, checking it out. Whose house is this at? This is at Uncle Bradley's house. There's Sherry. Nineteen eighty is the year when Grandpa and I went to Alaska, and the year that Ruth and the girls moved to Phoenix. Art looks a little different this year. There's a little less hair on top and a little more hair on the chin. Is that Stevie there? Danny. Spencer. Everybody's snacking those good hors d'oeuvres that Karen and Brad had prepared. Looks like that might be the bouquet from the Vista Christmas dinner. The same bowl has been used for the flowers at the Vista Christmas dinner every year since 1964. I'm happy that Karen has continued to carry out that tradition. Pretty soon, I think we're going to see the Christmas production, the uh, Streeter family nativity scene. Matt in the pretty sweater now. There's Stacy with the baby Jesus. She's M Mary. And where is Joseph? Spencer was Joseph, wasn't he? No, I was Joseph. David was? Yeah. David was Joseph. And there's Danny Sheep Streeter. This is continuation of the Streeter Christmas at Brad's with the uh, Christmas nativity scene by the Streeter grandchildren. Stacy is the Mary, and David is Joseph, as we said before. Notice that the baby Jesus is lying on a Morton salt box. This is the newest thing in cradle, in uh, mangers. The angel by the name of Matt has just arrived. I am reading the Christmas story from Luke, and then Sherry is reading the rest of the story. The, the angel we see here is Stevie. Pretty soon we'll have the wise men come in and the sheep that are being watched by the shepherds abiding in the fields. Sherry is having a little help with her reading, but I think she's able to control the situation. This is not the first time that we have had a dramatization, but it was the last time. I always thought it was a real good idea, but some way the grandchildren got tired of being shepherds and wise men and etc. So by popular request, we figured out other things to do at Christmas time. One of the most successful, I, I thought anyway, was the Streeter trivia that we had at Rethus in 1984. There's uh, Jonathan Sheep Streeter sitting by his companion. Incidentally, both those boys were born in October of the same year. And I believe the wise men have arrived. 
otherwise known as Spencer and Andy. You can notice how expert is the costuming for the streeter pageants. We always used to go to Christmas program at the Zindale Church. And uh, one of the most enchanting parts of the whole show was when Eleanor Vylander decked out all her little angels with their robes and their halos made of tinsel. Our children were all a part of it when they were that age. I still like to go to Zindale to the Christmas programs, but don't get to do it very often. some way the cameraman didn't take any pictures of the onlookers at this tremendous Christmas performance. Looks like the actors are through and the robes are off. <laughs> Christmas present time. I don't know what Jonathan got, but he seemed to be relatively happy. And Danny is opening his package. Matches? Pickup sticks. Pickup sticks. Talk a little louder. Okay. Marty has a set of aluminum pans. And David has a walkie-talkie. That looks like fun. This family seems to be pretty much into electronics. Probably had a uh, drawing for presents this year. One drawing among the grandchildren and one drawing among the children. I always felt badly because it seems like Grandpa and I got more presents than anybody else did. But if you counted, you gave more than anybody else did too. Record and pictures. I always like to get the school pictures from the grandchildren. Art has some gloves. He won't need any uh, earmuffs very much though because he's got enough hair. That's the one with the air conditioning on the ears though. Grandpa gets a new belt buckle and Bradley gets it installed. And that's a travel book from Retha. I think he got a couple of them that year that he enjoyed. It still has and Art got a hot shot to use at the tech shack so that he could uh, have something hot to eat. <laughs> 